So I've had a lot of people asking lately about my giant fish tank and I did previously do a tutorial for a smaller fish tank but um, you know people have been asking specifically how I built this one so uh, I'm gonna talk about that a bit here. Um, now the um, outside of the tank this is the most important part. You can use all sorts of items for this but um, I mean, you could use like um, one of the, uh, let me find it here, uh, one of the Castle Dreams built-in bookshelves, for example. Um, you know, if you put it in one of the toggles that is um, uh, like this or even has the back wall, the back wall would be good. Uh, like one of these um, and, you know, size it down a bit. Um, you could turn this into a fish tank very easily. Um, you can also use one of the toggles that has the bench in it. Let me find those really quick. Um, I think those there's ones with the bench in the wall. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I think I'm wrong. Okay, well, anyway. <laughs> um, that's just an example of an item you could use. Um, this bookshelf, uh, this Cottage Princess one, I believe also has some toggles that are um basically empty is this the right bookshelf oh my goodness i swear it's this one maybe it's not uh oh that's the wrong one <laughs> maybe it's this one <laughs> um i am having a difficult time remembering uh let's see there we go okay this one so um, you could use this, for example. Um, it's kind of short, but you could put it on some tables or something. I don't know. Uh, any item that basically is open and hollow to an extent um, will work. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, now, what I used here, this was actually Azor's idea. Azor is um, the one who helped me out with building my dorm a bit. Uh, she did the outside and um, the basic layout, like the walls and floors in here, as well as my halo display. And she came up with the idea for how to do this. So for this fish tank, we actually used the plants and books nightstand in toggle three um, and sized it up significantly. Um, you can see here, if I drag it out, it's really, really big and the legs of it are pushed down into the floor. So this is the top of the nightstand here. And you can make this whatever height you want because the bottom part here is a dollhouse bed board. Um, and just, uh, it's in toggle 15. Um, now I do recommend building this against a wall, but you can absolutely get away putting it in the middle of a room too, I think. Um, so now, um, you're gonna wanna fill your fish tank first, probably, before you put the water in place. So let me move this out of the way so we can take a look at what's inside. Now, um, the back of the fish tank, I made this decal with a coral reef, um, but you could easily use um, one of the patterns in the blue section um, just to give it kind of a watery look, or you could just have it be, um, nothing back there if you're building it against a wall and you'll just see through to the wall behind it um there are a lot of patterns in the blue section that look kind of watery um you know uh most of them are near the bottom but like uh for example uh here's one by solar eclipser um and yeah you just kind of can look through here and look for a pattern that you think would look good. Here's another solar eclipse or one that might look nice. Um, and that is just a piece of poster paper and toggle three that I put against the wall and sized up until it fit. Um, next, uh, you can see, this is what I was talking about with it, like just going through to the wall. I didn't put any water there, but because there's water up front, it doesn't really matter. If you were building this in the middle of a room, you would want to put water on every side, I would think. <laughs> Um, so we'll get to how you build the water in a bit. Um, now the first thing we should talk about is the fish. I 
my in my old aquarium tutorial or my old my old fish tank tutorial rather um i did do a tutorial on how to build this fish um i also have tutorials for a turtle and a puffer fish and um you could build a jellyfish using skirts and bow handles um the you know the bow handles that are let me find them um these ones the ribbon bow scepter decor handle um these make for great tentacles on a jellyfish you just use a skirt as the top of it um and then uh let's see <laughs> so there's you know there's various types of fish you could put in here like for example this is a sea star decor handle which is a tidal glow item and i just put a pattern on it to make it look a little more realistic um so my fish as you can see his name is Juan Fish and he is wearing um he looks quite dapper and obviously that's optional that's just me being goofy um i gave him a candy cane and um his mustache is made of beauty blenders and he's wearing the christmas window shopping top hat um but the rest of this is pretty basic the body is a beauty blender um the fins i used the moonlight dark fairy decor handle however um i would recommend since it's tight of low season right now buy a whole bunch of these the seashell clam decor handle and you can use these for fins instead um I, I think they look a lot better, but I'm going to leave him like this because he's always looked this way, even in my old dorm, and I feel like it'd be silly to change his looks now. <laughs> um, and finally, the uh, eyes are shiny vanity handles. Um, and all of this can be a bit tough to position, but... Um, <laughs> I don't know. I explain it in my other tutorial and show it a bit better. So... Um, Next, um, I, I, like I said, I got this sea star decor handle and I placed this so it would be up against the water on the front of the tank. So it'd be like on the glass. Um, then I used a few of the underwater coral pack toggles. Um, and uh, these are really great for filling fish tanks. You could also use the sand castle from the tidal glow items. Um, you could build all kinds of things in my old fish tank i built uh spongebob's pineapple um but that's <laughs> that's really up to you what you want to fill your fish tank with i also did um i used the spiral seashell to do kind of a plant you can put plants in here um one of the ones that's really good is the uh shoot what's it called <laughs> the um celestial bouquet um this has a toggle that I, I can't show you but it's just the leaves and um it makes for a really good aquarium plan and then um for the uh clam here with the pearl um these are two seashell clam decor handles that i sized up um i put decals on them to make them look more realistic but um for all of this you don't necessarily need to use decals you can just make them plain colors um i found one of the scale patterns for the fish here um but this is the decal i made myself um so i placed down the two shells um this one's tilted a bit so it's like open and then next this is a round pin tuck pillow that i colored and i pressed down to make like the um the tongue the muscle <laughs> i don't know <laughs> and finally this is actually cotton balls that i sized up and you can see i just angled it so only one of them was sticking out um and uh yeah so next um in a personal snow flurry or two. So if you look here, let me see here. I've got two of them in here and I sized them up a bit and you can see, well, that one might not be sized up. I don't know, but I, I pushed that down. And then um, this one, is this the same one? Uh, sure is. <laughs> uh, Oh, here it is. This is the big one. Okay. This one I sized up a lot, and I, um, 
it's at a bit of an angle. You basically turn it upside down so that the snow rises instead of falls. So, um, and then you push it into the ground so you only get the snow, and that's how you get the animated bubbles. And then, um, for the water, um, this will apply to the sides of the tank for now. Um, I used a piece of tape and toggled three, and sized that up until it fit into the frame. It does get a bit thick. Um, as you can see, it, it, it kind of overlaps on the inside, but that doesn't really matter once you've got the water on the other side. And then, for the front of the tank, this is a Hotel Hem bed blanket buckle too. On both of these, I used a water decal that I made, um, but you can, again, look through the patterns and um, find a lot of different ones that um, work well for water. And if I move this up, you can see we just put it upside down and push that into the ground to hide the solid part. And the cool thing is because of the way we did this, um, even if you click on it and you accidentally move it, it still looks fine. So um, I know that that can be annoying sometimes, like if you built a door using a hotel hem bed blanket, but in this case, it's actually okay. It, um, it just, it gets bigger on the inside instead. Um, so you can see that there. Um, and that is my entire aquarium in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions about specifically how I did certain parts of it, um, I can try and show it off better, but I recommend watching my original fish tank tutorial because it covers a lot of how to move things around because I, I recorded that as I was building live. So, uh, I am done. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!